scalability if it takes time t to fulfill a request how much time will it take to fulfill n concurrent requests the goal is to bring the time as close to t as possible by increasing the computing resources as the load increases ideally the solution should allow for scaling both vertically and horizontally and the scaling should be linear when we look at the diagram above the glassfish java enterprise edition application server contains many new features among them enhanced clustering capabilities the new clustering capabilities enhance high availability and scalability for deployment architectures through in memory session state replication within memory state replication clustered server instances rep replicate session state in ring topology strong the replicated information in memory here is few available plugins for tomcat that provides scalable session clustering by replicating each session to a single node rather than the whole cluster for large cluster deployments the resource savings for both bandwidth and per node memory usage can be dramatic compared to the full replication solution that ship today with tomcat load balancing load balancing also known as high availability switch over is a mechanism where the server load is distributed to different nodes within the server cluster based on a load balancing policy two popular methods of load balancing in a cluster are dns round robin and hardware load balancing there are many different algorithms to define the load distribution policy ranging from a simple round robin algorithm to more sophisticated algorithm used to perform the load balancing some of the commonly used algorithms are round robin random weight based minimum load last access time and programmatic parameter base the glassfish application server provides good facilities for load balancing still sometimes we need to have more fine grained control over how our cluster nodes are loaded with requests once such conditions can happen in a sharp environment when we are using the processing power to host several applications ranging from database to batch job processing to application servers saving requests that come from different customers such conditions can lead us to change the load router towards each class fish instances during different time slices we can change the router load manually but having the ability to change it automatically based on defined rules is something very desirable class fish uses jmx and the application server management extension apis to change the load balance configuration dynamically here integration of apache web server and the tomcat servlet container together has been a popular choice to handle web requests and to balance load using the jk natives connector using apache 2 with mod proxy and mod rewrite or using the balance web application tomcat done load balancing in a program manner clustering clustering solutions usually provide scalability high availability load balancing clustering supported in glassfish since september 2007 will be further improved clustering is used for horizontal scalability and high availability interest and use of the feature is increasing quickly with classfish deployments tomcat has a simple clustering solution tomcat servlet engine popular open source implementations of the servlet api using java space technology 
grizzly grizzly glassfish comes with its own http front end named grizzly and grizzly is written in java glassfish is grizzly neo connector making glassfish significantly faster than tomcat in real world condition Historically, if you wanted to get good HTTP performance from Tomcat, you really needed to have the Apache web server to sit in front of Tomcat, which involved more sitting up and extra administrative work. Since Glassfish Grizzly is the HTTP front end of the application server, it's 100% Java Neo framework that provides the same performance as Apache. only it's written in java and integrated straight into the application server while using apache or sun web server in front of glassfish is quite possible it's certainly no longer needed for performance reasons java enterprise edition support java enterprise edition has always been a key priority for the glassfish project It delivered its first Java Enterprise Edition more than two years ago. This allowed developers to enjoy the much simplified EJB 3.0 specification. It also provided dependency injections in the web tier. Tomcat is not full-blown application server, so while it may be enough for some developments. Many companies find themselves maintaining a stack of frameworks and libraries on top of Tomcat when a Glassfish provides a JPA persistence engine, a full web service stack, an application model and more all out of the box. Java Enterprise Edition profiles should help improve that situation for the industry as whole. The rest will be continued by friend Stephen.